The NBA Championship, the most difficult trophy to win in basketball, and it's used to define NBA players' legacy. Luka Doncic and Jason Tatum are in the prime of their careers, with both looking for their first NBA title. But who has the most pressure to win this year? Will winning this championship impact Luka's career more or Tatum? We are on different sides here, and we are still arguing off-camera about this topic. Who needs the title more for me? If I'm looking at player, is Luka Doncic. If I'm looking at team, probably the Boston Celtics. In terms of what you said, because of the six of eight in these last eight years, they made six conference finals. They haven't got the job done. So as a like that's as a collective for me that like the Celtics, you know, should be a should have been an NBA champion in these last eight years, right? There's no ifs and then buts about it because if you're making so that many conference finals, why Luka? Because my answer was not Luka. <laughs> Just to make that clear. But Luka, if I'm looking at player and player, Luka Doncic when he was drafted, Jason Tatum at the end day, he was supposed to be a guy, right? Like a guy in the NBA. I'm talking about NBA. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about like on the Celtics. He's a guy. I'm talking about when Luka Luka had that buzz that this guy is gonna be the best player in the NBA. Jason Tatum did not have that buzz, right? Okay. Luka Doncic. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah. Luka Doncic has that comparison to LeBron James, right? In terms of play style and how this guy could take over the league, and which he did in his rookie year. Luka Doncic hasn't won anything. Like and like no hardware, no individual awards, except for rookie of the year. But like the MVP of the league, this guy's gonna win these many MVPs. He probably should have been back to back. Could have been back to back already if he want if the voters went in his direction. Could have won one this year. He has got nothing. All the hype, but Luka has nothing to show for it in terms except for just him being incredible on the court. Okay. So in terms of the hype, the the legacy factor that Luca has to bring, this NBA title is more important to Luca than Jason Tatum. Here's the thing, right? I'm not sure if you ever pull up some stats. Luca is obviously younger than Tatum because I know he got drafted a year or two later. I think it was a year later, right? He was in the Aiton draft. Um, I disagree. I think it's Jason Tatum because of that team factor as well ties into it. Jason Tatum is not like we're to, there's. The whole media in general, Jason Tatum is being looked at like he is. Yes, you're right. He may have not come in in the hype as Luka, but he took the NBA by storm the minute he got into the NBA, right? First year, um, conference final, big factor. Took LeBron to game seven. That does not happen when you're a rookie. I'm not saying he was the only guy, right? Kyrie was injured that year as well. Keep that in mind. Second year, the drama comes in. He got out in the second round, I believe, to the Milwaukee Bucks. This was the year you got yeah, the yeah, championship. Yeah. Uh, bubble. Came that's when he took the league by storm and um, obviously took you guys out in game seven and then ultimately lost in, in the conference finals. Then, then the year later, this is the year 2021 is a forgetful year in sports for me because we were literally talking about this off camera like who won the Champions League, who won the who the, what was the route of the Stanley Cup and all that. Um, they got bounced in the first round. I do not remember that at all. I was about in, was about that was about it. Um, then after that, he's he's emerged, the team has emerged. You put you put this team around, and I'm, I'm emphasizing team as well. But Jason Tatum needs this to shut people up, in my opinion, because now it's getting to the point where people are saying like, is he, is it his team or is it Jalen Brown's team? I still think it's Jason Tatum's team, right? You've been coming on the pod saying like I should not be calling him a superstar based on my expectation definition of a superstar. Yeah, I still think he is that, right? He still got voted. Uh, uh, we mentioned last time out of the nine voters, I believe he still got four, so he was still almost won the conference MVP. Because he still put the points out there, and he yes, there are moments where it looks there are moments where that make him look bad, and in this playoffs because it should be an easy route, which it was, but it, they made it look complicated in certain factors, especially in that conference finals. Even though it was a sweep, it, I think Jason Tatum wins this. He shuts people up because this is the first time Luca has a proper team around him that he could do this with. Jason Tatum had always the support from the co front office, the coaching staff, teammates. Luca never had that. Chris Desperzingis has been injured. Then he did not fit well with him. You had, I think they went from Rick Carlisle to um, Luka Doncic. They struggled. Kid. Sorry, kid. kid. Luka Doncic coaching. Sorry, kid. <laughs> right? Um, last year, did not make the playoffs. Right? So I don't think from him, not when he made the Kyrie Irving trade, listen, Jordan didn't win his first championship and it's been a while since he won like 28 or something, right? Like he won his first in 1990. He was drafted in 84. 
Yeah. And you keep in mind, he's also a three-year college player. Yeah. Right? Kobe's an exception. Take take him out of it. I think he won in his fourth year. Right? Uh, LeBron had to go to the Heat and win. Right? So, the narrative of putting, like, I hate the fact that, like, we're, like, now Joel Embiid is at that age where we have to criticize him for not winning a championship. Because he, he is 28, almost, like, 30 years old, I believe. Right? And the vets, like, Harden and Paul and whatever. I hate, like, giving the young guy, like, oh, this is his first year in the NBA Finals. He has to win a championship uh, the soon as he gets it. That's why I disagree with you there because this is his first, like, second trip to the Conference Finals, first trip to the NBA Finals, and he did it as a fifth seed. They were, they're our underdogs for a reason. So based on that, I'm like, it, it has to be Jason Tatum because of that because he had all the support and because how he went into the NBA, he, yes, you're, again, to your point earlier, he was... And you're not as hyped, but once he made his name in the NBA, so it's been elevated. He's been all NBA first so, many times so, as well. So the the question is, who want who needs a title more, Luka Doncic or Jason Tatum? The answer right. is obviously both. But if we the want answer, one, the it's a it's a player thing. Yeah. Right. What you described everything is like why the Celtics need it more. Yeah. As so, well. but that, it, that, but, but that involves Jason but, Tatum. Yes, that involves Jason Tatum. But when you're looking to be the, like, look how much, imagine how much pressure Wemby's going to get. Yeah. Right? It's just, like, Wemby has more hype than Luka in terms of, like, yeah. draft and stuff. And this guy, the Boston Celtics are going to be talked about if Jason Tatum there is, is there or not. Right? That, they're, just, they're just that team. The reason why we talk about the Mavericks is because of Luka Doncic. Yeah, fair. Ever since Dirk got regressed, nobody cared about the Mavericks. Up until when Luka Doncic came. And he legit single handedly almost became the savior already, and just he became the savior. <laughs> Literally, he was the savior. Yeah, and uh, comparison to LeBron James, this title what what could benefit him in this title that will help propel a, maybe a LeBron James talk? I'm not talking about a like goal, but like I'm talking about like a career trajectory. He did it on his own team, where LeBron had to leave. That could give him an edge as well True. in this conversation Fair. and in his legacy, right? We are we we came into Luka Doncic talking about how this guy's just gonna change that change the NBA, right? Just when he was in Real Madrid, balling out, yeah. And then now he's actually doing it on the court, but then again has nothing to show for it. Not even I know it's his first Finals appearance. Yeah, but that's my point, right? Just as Jason Tatum's second Finals appearance, he's supposed to be the guy on the team, right? And he got the support of his team with him. Yeah, if he struggles in this and does not win a championship and he's one of the factors of that, that's going to ruin his legacy even more. If he wins a championship in Boston, he's going to be beloved, he, and he, especially if he's a big factor, in which he should be the big factor if he's, they're going to win the championship, right? I feel like all the talk about Jason Tatum's going to be gone. He got his championship. Then the Luka talks will rise after this year. I'm saying after this year. So, because, again, Jason Tatum's route to the finals was easy compared to Luka Doncic's. Yeah. Right? Jason Tatum is the favorite to win the championship this year and also be the guy to do and being it as the guy. I'm sure he, I don't have, I didn't check the betting gods. I'm sure he's the favorite for my finals MVP as well. Maybe it is Luka Doncic because of a player level, but if you're saying usually the winning team gets it, if, if Boston is the favorite, which they, I think they are, then obviously I think Tatum's supposed to be the favorite to win. Because of that, like, you can't, let another final slip away, right? Because either or, if he loses this, Luca will get all the praise and everything. His pressure would rise if his pressure will rise if he doesn't win it this year and if he struggles next year, especially. Jason Tatum, I feel like because you said it's Boston as well, that media, that media market, that city as a whole will not let this live down if they do not win it this year. And Jason Tatum, and it's because of Jason Tatum. So here's another way I'd try to look at it and. Who could make the final back? Who could make the finals back? Like, which squad could make the finals back again pretty easily? In my opinion, it's the Boston Celtics. Yeah. And there's no, no question about that. the West. Right. Um, Pending off-season moves. Yeah, obviously. The Western Conference, you're going to have a Spurs coming into it in like two years, right? A year. Depending on what they even do this year, they could be back next year, right? Just put on the back burner for right now. The Lakers are already in the conversation. Nuggets are going to be there and still going to stay there. The Timberwolves are up are there. Thunder up and coming. The Pelicans, hopefully a healthy Zion, they're going to be there. The Clippers obviously going to have the aspirations. Much more comp competitive in the West than it is the East to make the NBA Finals. 
which means it's much more easier to get an opportunity. Jason Tatum has a much more easier chance than getting back into the NBA Finals, even if he loses again. But I just feel like if he just gets it out of the way now, talks are done. Same with Luka. If he gets it out of the way, the pressure is gone. Comment your thoughts down below. It is looking likely the Celtics will win the title. Also, check out these two videos on screen, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.